Good afternoon, my name is Sergeant Kovac with the Austin Police Department. Um, just wanted to give you a briefing on the incident that we have out here at 5800 Techno Center Drive. Um, at approximately 12.08 p.m. today, um, Austin Police and 911 received a call of a collision here at 5800 Techno Center Drive. Uh, upon arrival, uh, officers located an individual um, that had been involved in the collision inside the vehicle who was deceased. There was apparent trauma uh, to the individual's body um, and at this time it is being investigated as a suspicious death. Um, the individual that was located is in his early 20s and is a male individual. So were there any shots fired? Uh, that is unconfirmed at this time. This is still early on in the investigation, so they're just now processing the scene. Um, as more information comes available, we'll let you know. But we do not believe that, the, we believe that this is an isolated incident and that there's no threat to the public at this time. So was it just the one person in the car? Or two? Just one. Okay. But they had, they had had a wreck or were involved in an accident and then? There, there, was a, there was a report that the car had, had been in a collision, and whenever they, uh, officers arrived here on scene, they located the, the wrecked car. So, we're, like I said, it's still early on in the investigation whether there was another vehicle involved or not. We're not exactly sure, but as things go on, we'll, keep, uh, we'll continue to keep you all updated. So the individual's injuries causing the crash when he was there. We're unsure at that time. Uh, we're unsure uh, if the, in, the individual's injuries caused him to have the collision or what, what else related to that. Like I said, they're still processing the scene. It's still very early on in the investigation. So as, as things develop, we'll, we'll continue to keep you all updated. You said trauma, what kind of trauma? Uh, just, uh, we're not sure what type of trauma it is. He just had some type of trauma to his body. We're not sure what it was, uh, what caused the trauma to his body. Um, like I said, they are still actively operating, this, uh, working on the scene. It's still early on in the investigation. So as uh, investigators learn more, like I said, we'll continue to update. Is there anything that happened here that leads you to, you said, isolated incident? Yes. It's an isolated incident. No other danger to anyone just from what you hear? Yes, correct. Yeah, it's an isolated incident from what, what from what our initial investigation is looking at at this time. Um, there has been no other reports of any type of violence or anything out here at this time, so we, we believe the incident to be isolated and, like I said, no threat to the public in this area. A resident frustrated? I, I know one resident was walking by saying this was worse than a SWAT situation during Christmas. Uh -huh. Uh, are they, you said, are they, you think that, are they frustrated about? Frustrated or are they, what have they, what have they told you? Uh, I haven't spoken to any of the residents. I know they're probably frustrated by maybe the, you know, the, the crime scene tape and having to divert their route and their daily traffic, but I haven't talked to anybody that's, um, that's, that's openly frustrated about anything else. Um, you know, we're, we, we, we are in pretty close proximity to the school over here. Yes, sir. Uh, was, was that, uh, uh, any, any uh, root cause of concern in the investigation that did, did, were, were, were things checked out over there or, you know, what was... During, yeah, yeah, like yes, sir. No lockdown was called during the initial incident. Like I said, there was no threat that was deemed to be even involved with the, uh, the school. I think it was just a, the fact that it happened at this apartment complex, which was in relation to the school. Do you know if the individual lived here or he just crashed here? We, we do not know at this time, ma'am, no. And no weapons found as of yet? Uh, no, no, no weapons that we have found involved. Um, like I said, again, this is very early on in the investigation. As things develop, we'll, we'll know much, much more after we finish processing the scene.